All right, man, I'm finally here. Every time I disappear and take a few days to myself to catch up on life, shit like this happens. We got Drake push ups drop and give me 50, a Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, Metro Boom, and this. Uh, do me a favor, go like, go subscribe. Uh, this is paperchaser.com. Listen, man, I really don't trust anything unless it comes out of the uh, actual artist's channel, but. Dude, if you go looking through YouTube, there's like fucking 50 of these videos from Drake. So is this AI generated? Is this real? But then I went and did a little bit of research, and it seems to be real. It seems like it leaked ahead of time, and this is supposed to be the final version. I don't know if that's true or not. So I'll just keep up with what I can. Um, at least Drake is fucking firing back. I mean, you know, oh, let's not get into fucking J. Cole, please. Please, man. What do you got to say, Drake? Come on, man. Let's go. Drake push-ups drop and give me 50. That's got to be referring to when Kendrick was doing uh, push-ups in the park. All right, let's go. Okay. okay. Like the beat choice. Hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the You're saying right there, you, you can't even book shows outside of America. He said, bring that back. Be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Your first number one, I had to put that in your hand. I'm the one who helped you get your first number one record. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven man zone? <laughs> How you big stepping with a size seven man zone? How you gonna talk about taking these big steps with these little ass feet? All right, yeah. All right, Kendrick's getting it right now. Don't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. All right, so now that was a little bit of a rebuttal. He's, you know, how uh, Kendrick was talking. If you can't tell, I can't. I just woke up. Look at the look at my face, dude. My face is full of redness and baggage. <laughs> um. So Kendrick basically said, you know, um. Uh, Pet cemetery, canines, all that shit. This the bark with the bite, nigga. What's up? Yeah, see this. Because I think he said the all dogs are all barking, no bite, or something like that. Well, he said this is the dog with the bite. What's up? Be stepping with a size seven man zone. This ain't AI either, by the way. This the bark with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby. Hope for red. You been shook up. This top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push ups. He said, I know my picture's on the wall when you cook up. All right, let me do a listen through, and I'll come back and break down. Extortion, baby. Hope for red. You be Extortion, sugar. baby. Stop, so you drop and give me 50 likes of push-ups. Cool, your last one brick. You really not on shit. They mm. make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop. You better drop and give them 50. He basically just said, like, look, you couldn't have had those hit records without Taylor Swift. And who else did he say? Sorry. Room 5, need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Room 5. Say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Pip squeak, pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like no. you know, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. how the hell j cole how are you gonna take back your fucking this but you're gonna let drake go out here and go 20 v verse one how the hell are you gonna pull your verse back 
but let Dre go out here twenty first one. He said Metro go make some fucking ba some drum sounds on your little cake machine. <laughs> Six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash flowing, able bread out here tricking. Trickin'? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in nail. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. I'm sorry, I'm not digging that. I just chip. I don't want to chip a nail line. Stage, I would turn. That was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him. Start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man. Don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. Hey, I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass. Better fucking. Hey, better drop and give me 50. Hey, drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Hey, niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Hey, niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. Take your latest girl a cuffer like on Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay about my business. Nigga, shout out to the Hooper that be but Stay scheming. <clears throat> Yo, dude, I didn't think about that. Holy shit. Got from Jizzy. Spend that little check, you gotta stay about my business. Nigga, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken. Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. And that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see a top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Top, wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You done roll deep to this, you not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show. Money, merch, money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me 50. Oh, Dude, my eyes are water. Drake. Where is this Drake been at? Really, really trying to keep it PG. Yo, everyone keep this in Drake, please, so we can get this man to keep rapping like this. Now, I know I did a bit of breaking down while I was listening to this, but there's a lot of stuff I did not address. I have to go back. I just, during a diss track, I must have just stop, pause, stop, pause, stop, pause. I know some people don't like that. Well, I did it a little bit. I'm going to go back, and I'm really going to break this shit down now. Go like, go subscribe, show love to Drake. Even though this isn't on Drake's channel, I still threw this video a like. Um, just to show it love. I, I, I don't know paperchaser.com to be 100% honest with you. I, I, I don't. Okay, let me say this. It still sounds like a bit of a rough draft. And I'll explain later. But go like, go subscribe, show love to Drake. I'm going to follow the rest of this drama, this beef, this, this shit. Because it seems like there's a lot of. I knew, He said this has been brewing up. There's been a lot of shit going on within the industry over the past, I would say, like, around COVID time, where people have been, like, behind the doors having issues, you know, with pay, with uh, just being braggadocious, dab uh, double stabbing each other. A lot of women are fucking with men's heads, too. Like, they're all, like, these, all these video vixens or IG women are, like, sleeping with the same dudes. And there's been, like, a lot of... A lot of petty shit going on behind closed doors. But uh, you know what? Uh, I, I don't want to say that's the meaning for all this. I think this all comes down to K-Dot with that feature. And when he did say, you fuck your big three, it's just big meat. All right, let's bring this back one more time. I want to see what I could really catch and uh, stuff I was letting go of. Let's go. Um, I'd love to have you the like, subscribe, helps up my algorithm. If I, it helps me wake the fuck up to how do I look right now. Oh, oh, shit. I'm in a green shirt, too. I fucking join the army. Let's go. Okay. Who can? Okay. Now let me really focus here. Hey, I could 
to never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in, in Japan. Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven man zone? And we just addressed that right there. So how the fuck you big stepping? Now, you, you, you got an okay dice catalog to understand some of these bars. You're going to have to understand some of these uh, artists' catalog to, to catch a lot of these bars. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven man Hands on. on. This the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my nice rebuttal. When cook up. That was a nice rebuttal right there saying, like, this is the dog with the bite. What's up? Like, all right. you you. I, I'm not afraid to swing with you. J. Cole might have backed down from a battle, but I won't. Let's go. Even though, you know, what happened between him and Pusha T. But Pusha T's a whole different animal. Pusha T had some fucking dirt, though. But here's the thing. Even Drake at the end said, don't wake the demon up. There's a lot more that I know. So I feel like Drake might have the upper hand here. Let's see, man. Extortion, baby. Hope for red. You've been shook up. He's an extortion, baby. I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby. Hope for red. You've been shook up. This top so you drop it. But you also been shook up like you never shake a baby. But he said you've been shook up. Give me 50 likes of push ups. Hood, your last one brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. All right, let me see your contract. I want to see the split. So he's basically taking shots right now, talking about aftermath and talking about Interscope. Saying, you know, they're known for having uh, fucked up record deals. He said, let me see the split. Got you doing splits. Um, let's see. Pull your contract, because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking sh Also doing splits, like, so, like, switching sides. You keep going back and forth. So you got one foot going one way, one foot going the other. You ever heard of the term of, like, you got your one foot in, one foot out? Like, not the hokey pokey, motherfucker, but, like, you have to be all in on one thing. But he's saying, like, you're doing the splits right here. You're playing both sides of the fence. Show inside the bitty. Maroon 5, needs, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5, need a verse. You better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop. You better drop and give them 50. That's yeah, fucked up. That Maroon 5 line is fucked up. Then he's also said we need a verse for the Swifties as well. Uh, Bad Blood, I believe, Kendrick Lamar had a... He had a big push in his career from just that feature alone. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Not saying that Kendrick wasn't doing his thing by himself. I'm just saying he's calling him out, saying that the Swifties helped push launch your career as well. He's top say drop, you better drop and give him 50. But the thing about that bar is every single artist has, basically, for the most part. So you can say that about Eminem had Dre or fucking you know, Drake had fucking Lil Wayne. You know, everyone's got somebody to help them push their career. Nobody does this alone. But he's saying, like, you had to use the pop culture, but that's coming from the biggest rapper, pop artist of all time. Pipsqueak pipe down. You ain't in no big... It's a pipsqueak pipe down. Little man pipe down. Better job and give him 50. Pipsqueak pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. Yeah, so they got you wiped down. Scissor got you, uh, 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 SEA, uh, Scissor got you wiped down. Uh, who else did he say? Got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. So 21 Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the I'm getting a little sick of those inner scope. I got you in the scope, inner scope. Uh, that bar is getting really old. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I'll write down. But that follow-up was perfect because he, I think Drake knows that line's a little outplayed, but the aftermath of what I write, like that, that was, that was nasty. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now, and you gon' feel the aftermath, aftermath of what, what I, I write down. down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now, just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. He said, just to have a talk with your ass, I had to, I had to, I had to hype down. Basically saying, like, I had to hop down. I had to stoop down to your level just to be able to have this conversation with you. I'm over here chilling on the mountaintop, and then what do I hear from beneath the clouds? All right, let me come back down. Had talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. 
What the fuck is this a 20 V1 nigga? Oh top of the mouth, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big I had to hike down, sorry. I had to, I to said hype, hike down. But a mouth, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20 V1 nigga? Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. Now, is he referring to Michael Jackson because of the Michael Jackson bars? Or is he referring to Michael Jordan? Difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. All right, that bar was nasty. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love. What's a prince to a king? So that was all about Michael Jackson. I take that back. So he, uh, Kendrick Lamar in the last this basically said, like, look, like, you talk about, because J. Cole was talking about how he's one hit away from breaking Michael Jackson's record, which he did. And then he just said, but Prince outlived Mike Jack. So he flipped it. 20 V1, nigga. What's a prince to a king? He a son, son. nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Charles Lil Blunt runner. Playing a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing able bread out here tricking. How you trick? Am I tripping? Did I not hear that bar earlier? Oh, that's right. I did a fucking. I was like, what the fuck? I'm doing a double take. I'm like, I'm half asleep, guys. I'm like, what the fuck? I just heard that bar a second ago. When you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Okay, hold on. Something's going on. Every time I hit go back, it's not going back. All right. Bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, little blunt runner. Clean a six and see that you fun, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the six guy on the front. He said, Metro, you ain't no fucking rapper. Shut your fucking weak ass up. Make some drums, make some beats. Let the fucking dogs get it. Let the, the real rappers rap. Y'all nigga manager was Charles Lil Blunt Runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Can you couldn't handle success. You couldn't handle the heat. You couldn't handle the pressure. You ran from it. Cash blowing able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck. Boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping dead. He got some Diddy information. He got some Diddy info. He got some Diddy info. Out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. What the fuck? Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked. Adler, what the fuck? Wicked, spinning like you trying to fuck. Boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in nail. I just got them done. Boy, don't make me at the chip and nail, bro. See, that I don't like. Don't make me have to chip a nail. I don't think any dude really minds chipping a nail with a gun. Whips chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck. Boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in nail. I just got them done. Boy, don't make me at the chip and nail. Rolling loud stage, y'all would turn. That was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him. Start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man. Don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own. Next busy, ayy. Hey. Mm. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little mid. I said they got me out here talking like I'm 50 Cent. What he means by that is 50 Cent had when 50 Cent was coming up, he was taking shots at everybody. He was putting out diss track after diss track. He had one song in particular that basically dissed everybody in the rap game. I'm talking about Jay Z, not everybody in the rap game. Me and uh, Anthony Ray just talked about this on a podcast. And honestly, everybody was scared to even sign 50. People trying to make up this fake lie saying like, oh, yeah, 50 was, you know, blackballed by the industry. No, people just didn't want to sign 50 because of what came with it, which was drama, you know, that he was dealing with. Obviously shot nine times, you know, and Preem was killed. There's a lot of shit that went down and uh, people were afraid to sign 50. M and Dre, well, M basically was the only person not afraid to sign 50 and look at what happened. Talking like I'm 50. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a cuffer like I'm Ricky. Can't believe Right there. I might take your latest girl and cuffer like I'm Ricky. Rick I don't know how anybody ever let this go. 
Rick Ross was a motherfucking correctional officer. So he was the basically the 12s. You know what I'm saying? Like he used to fucking guard inmates. But you want to talk about like, you know, his his first record was uh Ah, uh, fucking the song. Every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. Not saying he couldn't have been hustling while, you know, playing the system, but still, he sounded like Cuffer, like I'm Ricky, Officer Ricky. I mean, I hear rapping what I'm living. I might take it late, this girl a cuffer like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Jizzy. He says he's turning 50 years old. Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business. Nigga, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know. And he ain't playing about stay up on my business and like how much money I got. Dude, Drake literally just put down six hundred six hundred fifty one thousand dollars last night on Alex Pieta to win a fight, and he won like one point something million dollars. Drake's Drake's so rich is fucking ridiculous, dude. Check, you gotta stay about my business, nigga. Shout Good business man. And that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga. I like that. I like that. I like that. Champagne not slowing up. He's not tripping up. He's not easing up. I'm not stopping. Champagne poppy is here to stay. You want you want fuck shit? I got you on fuck shit. Fuck what J. Cole said about, you know, because J. Cole said, you know, he dropped a nuke on the game. It was a 30-second verse, and yes, it was hot. I felt it was hot. Now, do I feel like this is the best this track ever? No, I do not. I feel like this is massive. This is what Drake does. He will drop a track that people can still bump and ride around to, which is smart. It's kind of like what he did with Meek Mill, the back-to-back -back shit, and even Charged Up. But he does these diss tracks, even Duppy Freestyle. You can listen to him over and over again. Because they have a bunch of replay value. But what you sacrifice in that is actual, like, go get them punchlines. It, it, it's, I, I hate to bring up this analogy, but it's the same thing with Kill Shot and Rap Devil. Rap Devil, you can ride around to and listen to a bunch of times to most people, right? Like me, no, not really, because I know a lot of it's not factual. Um, but Kill Shot is Eminem hitting you with punchline after punchline, complex setups schemes um he, dude, i mean there was p parts where he, one bar had five different meanings you see what i'm saying like you have to sacrifice some of that to be mass appealing so it depends and, and drake settles somewhere in the middle leaning more towards appealing to the masses he'd rather get the ear of the younger generation which is smart but in battle rap leaves a lot of holes in your game which is why Pusha T was able to win that last this. And if you disagree with me on that, the Duppy Freestyle versus that, I mean, when the story of Adidon, I mean, come on, dude. You can't say Pusha T didn't take that. Even Drake admitted it. And he said, that's a chink in my armor. Like this. I like that too. He's saying like, look, 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 look. Everybody who's been talking shit, now you're fucked. Now you don't have me to back you. And you know you needed me. Listen, no matter about the ghostwriting allegations of, of, of Drake, which he does use ghostwriters, he works with a lot of people. When you're that big, you work with teams of people, right? Now he's saying you have no more access to that. I am the hit maker, which that's proven to be fact. We, we cannot deny that. We cannot take that away from Drake. Do I think he's the best MC ever? No. But do I think he can hold his own? Yes, I do. Drake, it, Drake can rap. Don't take that away, but... It, no one can take that away from him, but is he a pop artist as well and a better pop artist at that? I do believe so. I do believe so. But he's saying now you don't have access. And, dude, Drake wrote for Kanye. Drake wrote for a lot of fucking people, dude. So even though people have written for Drake, Drake writes for other people as well. Ah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this and not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Money wise, you're not creeping up. Numbers wise, any in any type of form, 
or fashion, you are not creeping up on me. You stay in Noche. Where I'm at, I am way far ahead of you. He's in a different stratosphere. The only other person close to Drake or past Drake is M. That's it. There's, there's nobody else. M and Drake are just so far ahead of everybody else. Ugh. Drake's numbers are disgusting, dude. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Cornball, your show money, merch money, feed us. I'm a let He said, Cornball, your merch money is. Oh, how do you say it? I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Cornball, your show money, merch money, feed us. Yeah. Your show money is merch fee to us. It's merch fee. So that shit is nothing. Alright, and I'm gonna let y'all work it out. So it's called push ups, give me fifty, right? So he said, I'm gonna let y'all work it out. Look work it out, because I've seen enough. I put my two cents in. Now y'all work it out. If you wanna come back at me. I'm ready. 20 verse 1. I'll fucking do this shit. I can go all day, but I'm going to let you guys work this out. Let's see what you guys come back with. This is kind of like a... It's like, it's like a... I hate calling it like a bait track, but it is a bait track. It's like you're fishing. You're waiting to see what everyone else is going to see so you can respond properly and pick your shots. I'm going to let you niggas work it out because I've seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait to demon up. This ain't even See? everything I know. Don't wait to demon up. Mike. Drop and give me 50 on you fuck niggas teaming up. What the fuck are you smoking on Kendrick? If he were to drop this beat midway through this, oh. Drop, drop, drop a 50 bag for the mom in a spot. Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the car. Really, really trying to keep it PG. See, but like even that right there just shows you like it's for the masses. He's, he's being mass appealing as always. All right. My final assessment is this. Drake held his own. And I look like I just joined the military in this shirt. Don't ask me. I thought it was black. I was half asleep putting a shirt on. So I my apologies for myself. Um. At least Drake has the balls to step up and stand up for himself and say what needs to be said. This is hip hop, bro. This isn't some, oh, hey, buddy, buddy, this, this, and that. We do shit behind each other's back and no one says anything. No. You speak up. You speak your mind. You fire back. Someone disses you. You diss them back. I feel like I'm in Cliff Inception, so let me turn that fucking off. I hate that. Um, he did what he was supposed to do. Now, again, with this this, did I see holes in it? Yes. Can I see where all other artists can capitalize? 100%. Do I think Drake got his point across? I do. Overall, I like how, the, like he said, this is cooking up. Yeah, I've been cooking up. This is heating up. Everything's heating up right now. I've been telling people since the beginning of this year that this year going into the next year is going to be crazy with music. Now, I don't know if this is just a ploy. For everybody, because everyone's about to make a bunch of money off this. But if if rappers continue to beef with each other, it helps. Ex Here's the thing. I enjoy a good back and forth. I enjoy people testing their pens against each other. But we don't need to go any further than that. That's where J. Cole backed out because he thought that there was going to be blood. He, he didn't want it to go to Biggie and Pac level, which it never would go today because people would step in back then. You had Suge Knight. You had people afraid of other people that were they would never step in and say or do anything because it was really, really about that shit. Today, there's cameras everywhere. I mean, you're tracked everywhere you fucking go. I mean, I'm every movement I make. You know what I'm saying? That's for everybody. Uh, Drake did his thing though, but do I feel it's the best this track ever? No, no, not at all. I like. Yeah, he did take Metro. Got it. Rick Ross got it. Kendrick got it. Um. He 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 was throwing shots kind of just at anybody who's had something to say to him over the last year or two. And shit probably that we don't even know about that's going on behind our backs. Because here, here here's here's the here's the my final point. When people are writing this records. You got to remember, it's not for us. 
right? Of course, Drake wants to make it mass appealing for us, right? Thank you, Drake. We appreciate that. But he's also speaking on things that have happened behind closed doors that are going to get under other people's skin. You see what I'm saying? Only they will know, like, damn, like that was directed straight at me. I got to hop in the booth. I got to respond. So in turn, keeps the wheel moving. We might not catch everything. So I know there were some things in there where I was questioning, like, what does that mean exactly? So I know that there's more stuff behind closed doors. Like he said, don't wake the demon up. There's a lot more stuff that I know. So he's saying, it's like a warning, like, back the fuck up. Keep my name out your fucking mouth. I'm chilling at my mountaintop. Leave me the fuck alone. I had to hike back down here to have a conversation with y'all. I'm going back up to my mountaintop. Don't make me come back down off this mountain. But again, do I feel this is the, 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 the best this ever? No. No, I don't. I just, I also don't, unless it's dropping from OVO, I really don't trust anything. But that's just me. What would you guys think of this diss track? I want to hear your honest opinion, man. But yeah, listen, I know there's a lot of Drake, uh, people who hate Drake, a lot of people who love Drake. Um, I respect Drake for what he's done. 100%. And this, when I hear Drake rap like this, it, it gives me a little bit more faith in Drake. That's why I said I like it when Drake raps. I like rap. Pop music really isn't my thing. I'll fuck with it here and there, but you're not going to catch me on a dance floor. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in Miami fucking buying bottles. You know, I'm, I'm in a studio 24 7. So when I put something on, I want to be able to go, mm, get, get them. You know what I'm saying? Like, there weren't any moments here where I was like ready to like run around the room. There was no like, no bars hit so hard that it like gave me the chills. It was just like, damn, damn, damn. Like that's 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 the lengths that this this track went in my eyes. Um, people were saying this was AI, yada yada yada. I I, I have no idea, man. Metro got the most disrespectful line out of all this. He did. He got well the, the size seven shoe, and then also yeah, you get back on the drums, yeah. Drake living rent free in Metro's head now telling him to sit down. <laughs> I rap to rap so hard to the point everyone thought it was AI. Well, Drake is one of the easiest artists to actually emulate uh, using AI. That's why, and a lot of people have been emulating Drake with AI. So, um, yeah, he slick call. I didn't want to say that. I okay. So this comment says he slick call on the weekend. A homosexual. That's what he was saying. Like, you're doing this for the dudes. I heard him. I heard that bar and I was like, eh, well, I'm not going to really address it. I'm going to leave it where it's at. Um, Cause I don't know what happened between the weekend and Drake. I don't know where that beef came from. Again, there's stuff that I don't know about that. I'm sure we're going to learn about as we go on, but guys, thanks for watching with me. I appreciate you long video. I wanted to do listen through and then I want to listen back to I'm so tired when I heard that bargain. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I hear this last night or some shit. And I was like, wait, I just listened to it a second ago. That's how fucking tired I am. But I, I had to jump on here and check this out for you guys. I'm sorry for being late this week. I'm going to try to be on top of content as fast as I possibly can. Go like, go subscribe. Show love to Drake, um, all your favorite artists. It takes a second to go like and go subscribe. I'd love to have you too. If you want to follow me on this journey and see what I can find out and discover too. Let me go digging a little bit. Let me go do a little bit of digging because this weekend I've been fucking busy. Over the last week and a half, I've been extremely busy with uh, personal stuff. Let me go digging to find some more information. I'm sure I can... Uh, I'm sure I can get some more, some more of the uh, gossip. I could probably get someone to spill the tea a bit more. But bear with me. I love you guys. Stay safe. Uh, thanks for watching with me. Take care of yourselves. If, if anyone needs me, just reach out. You know, I'm always here for you, man. I wouldn't have a channel without you or these amazing artists. But yeah, I mean, people are at war right now. The summer's going to be heating up. Summer's going to be heating up, man. I think this is only just the beginning. I just wish J. Cole did not fucking J. Fold, man. Fuck.